guys, it's Rick. Welcome back to the HG Vibe channel. If you'd like to see more tips, tricks, rides, reviews, installs on my Harley-Davidson Touring Motorcycles, as well as information about motorcycles and the motorcycle community at large, SG, please hit that subscribe button. And when you do subscribe, please leave a comment down below saying I subscribe so I can personally reach out and thank you for supporting the channel. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon and select all so that you do get notified every time I do put out new content. So today I have a problem. Um, the 2021 Rogue Glide Special will not start. So I'm going to walk you through what happened, why I think maybe it's not starting, and we are actually going to try a solution on this video and see if it helps. And we'll get into all of that right after this. So that's right guys, the Rogue Glide Special would not start the other day. So let me tell you the story. So I actually commuted to work on the Rogue Glide Special. Um, everything was fine, bike started, left work and had to stop by Ms. HD Vibes work to pick something up. Parked the bike in first gear, went inside, got what I needed and come out Pull the clutch, turn the ignition, turn on the cutoff switch, hit the starter, and nothing. So I did this about four times just to see, you know, turn the ignition off, turn it back on, re-go through the whole process, and I couldn't for the life of me figure out what was going on. So I tried and tried probably four times. Nothing. I mean, just literally, I would hit the starter and nothing would happen um, there's no air codes there's no nothing was flashing no engine light um, and it just wouldn't start so i went back to my basic rider course and i'm like all right fine c right fuel ignition neutral engine cutoff switch choke obviously you don't have a choke but then start so I went through all that, I put in neutral, and sure enough, the bike fires up. So I did a little research, and I think I may have figured out what the problem is. And I'm hoping, and we're gonna try it here, and this is gonna be a test on this video, and hopefully this works. And if you see this video, it obviously worked. Um, but even if it doesn't work, I'll still put this out. But you know, I have a couple choices, right? So the bike is still under warranty from Harley-Davidson, so I can make an appointment and take it to Gateway Harley-Davidson to service and get it fixed. No issues, it's still under warranty. And, and that's probably what in the long run I should do, but then I started doing a little research and I'm like, why would the bike start in neutral but not start if I have it in first gear with the clutch pulled? So I did a little bit of research and what I've come up with is potentially my, I think it's called a clutch safety switch or something like that. That's actually in the, just behind the clutch lever. And sometimes that either goes bad and you can't start the bike when it's in gear or sometimes it just sticks and it won't start and you have to kind of get it unstuck. And then the bike will actually again start in gear. So this bike, from what I remember, always started when I was in gear, just pulling the clutch and it would start. I mean, obviously I haven't had it this long because this is my new bike. And if you want to see the reveal video on that, I will have a link down below. So we're going to try this. Um, what I've read in the Harley Davidson forums is that sometimes that safety, clutch safety switch will actually get stuck and not let the engine know that the clutch has been disengaged in order to fire the motor when you have it in gear. So obviously Harley-Davidson doesn't want you to start the bike when it's in gear because what's going to happen? The bike's going to lurch forward, you're going to drop the bike, etc. It's not good for the engine. Um, so you either typically will either start in neutral, so there's no, no gears that will be operating at that point, or you pull the clutch and you start the bike because it's engaged the clutch and the gears are not spinning. So what I'm gonna do is move the camera around 
And we are gonna try this trick and then I'm gonna actually try to start the bike up in gear and see if this works. So I haven't been able to get the bike to start in gear and I'm hoping, hoping that this does the trick and that I don't need to schedule a service appointment. Um, but if in the long run I do, um, I will because it's under warranty and why not take it in and have them either replace that that switch or figure out why there's some communication issue within the bike so that it won't start when it's in gear. So let me get the camera flipped around and I will show you where this little switch is. It's kind of hard to see. I've actually located it and then I will show you the process, at least what I've read in the Harley Davidson forums. And this would really apply to, at a minimum, anything from your 2014 through current um, touring bikes at a minimum. I, I, I can't speak for other bikes, but hopefully, if this works, this is a solution for you if you ever have this issue when you're out on the road. Um, and it just takes a simple tool, and that's really a flathead screwdriver. So let's try it out. Okay guys, so I've got a flathead screwdriver, and if you can see right above where the flathead screwdriver is, there's this white tab or white button, um, and that is the safety clutch safety switch, if you will. So what I've read is if I push this thing in and give it a couple, just to loosen it back up, and then squeeze the clutch, I don't know, it looks as though it's barely touching that. Um, so I don't know, maybe there's actually, there's, my clutch needs to be adjusted or maybe it doesn't need to go in, but obviously it goes all the way in. Um, so this is the little tech trip, trick, the tech trip that I've read on the forum, so Again, there is the little tab. Just kind of work it a little bit, loosen it up. Sometimes dirt might get in there. Um, so now I've loosened it up. So what I'm gonna do is hopefully fire this up while it's actually in gear. So let me move the camera around and we'll give this a whirl. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get the ignition on. So we got the ignition on. As you can see, everything is firing up. Um, the bike is in gear. See the neutral light is now not on. So actually, let me put it in neutral and show you how it will start. So there's neutral. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the bike while in neutral. So we'll hit the uh, cutoff switch and hopefully. So obviously it started in neutral. So now what I'm gonna do is actually put it in first gear. As you can see, no longer in neutral. And now I'm going to pull the clutch, ignition is on, hit the cutoff switch and now hit the ignition switch and see if what I did actually fixes this. So that seems to have done it. Um, and again, like I read in the forum, sometimes that little button that's kind of jammed between the clutch and this housing here gets some dirt or dust and it doesn't make a good contact when you're pulling this clutch in. And so hopefully that will take care of the problem. Um, so let me get the swing the camera back around and we'll wrap this video up here. So that's it guys. Um, I fixed the issue, it was pretty simple. Again, if I had known this um, when I was out, I would have taken care of this while I was out in the parking lot, but obviously the bike still started in neutral, which was good. I was really concerned that the bike wasn't gonna start, and 
This being a new bike to me, um, albeit it's pre-owned in a 2021, still under warranty, um, I was really concerned. I'm like, is there something major going on with this bike that it won't start? But again, I went through the normal, the fine C, right? That we learned in the basic rider course. And I put that bike in neutral and sure enough, it fired up. So, you know, this neutral safety switch, um, I've read in the forums can be a challenge. I've actually had other people that I've, that I ride with have the same issue. They were like, all of a sudden I couldn't start it in first gear. They would take it to the dealer and the dealer would take care of it, but nobody ever told me what kind of the solution was. So I also wanna show you guys this product. This is not a sponsored video. I actually found these. These are called Pit Posse Harley Davidson Tools. It's obviously a very minimal size tool kit. Um, and it actually costs, I think, under $11. And there is a Harley Davidson version that's Harley branded. I don't, and maybe it's even made by the same company, but it's like $48. Um, and this has, you know, flathead uh, screwdrivers. It has your Phillips screwdrivers. It has your torques that you typically would need, which the most common I think of the T25 and the T27s on Harleys. Um, it also has some sockets actually in here in this little kit. Um, and it's a good little tool kit, and I've actually, I picked up three of these just to put in the bikes um, to have, and when you have an issue like this, if I would have had this, and I would have known about this little trick or tech tip about this safety, this clutch safety switch, I could have fixed that while I was out there, not had to fret about it. I, I was, maybe it's just me, but I don't like when things like this don't work properly on my bikes. And the last thing I want to do is take it in for service, sort of outside of those maintenance routines. Um, it's just, you know, it's not the most convenient sometimes. And if I will actually have this checked, obviously when I take it in for the next service, but the bike is still under warranty. So I'll definitely have them tell them what went on and tell them what I did to fix it. And maybe they'll say it needs a new switch. I don't know. Uh, but this took care of it. I don't have to make an appointment. Save me time and effort. And I'm hoping, if you guys didn't know about this, that this little tip will help you guys out as well. So if you like this video, I ask that you please hit that subscribe and, and, and give it a thumbs up. Um, it really helps the channel. The channel is growing uh, and I appreciate all the viewers, the subscribers, and those give me a like and a comment and even share this video with your friends. So with that, I wanna wrap it up here and leave you with this thought. Life is short, get out and ride the bike. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you on the next one. Bye now.